Gotcha. Like, All right, yeah, yeah, let's Like, you know, I want on. to make documentaries of us. Like, um, like, the thing is, like, you, you, this is, this is a great inspiration, and, like, and it just took me a while to even write lyrics, because I'm not going to lie, let me tell you my weak point, my weak point is writing lyrics. Now, since I, I overthought it. strong point. Right, now it's my strong point now, because I overthought it, and, um, and now, since I got the lyrics, now my chords got better. Like, like I have a whole encyclopedia of chords, like from all chords, the, the stuff that you wouldn't think is on guitar. Like, because like it is piano and encyclopedia, piano and guitar encyclopedia. So, so like people do, people do like, crap. People do like pop songs, like, like 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 C major, then to D major, then to G. And then to like E minor or E major, then to A, whichever. I'm not sure it's A major, A minor, correct me if I'm wrong. A, a, a major is just the, those three uh, strings okay. pushed down. Okay. Uh, where you are. Like okay. Below the, uh, but below the, uh, see, see how much I know about like strings and shit like that. Exactly. So all I know is that an A, an a major is just three strings pushed down above the, the last E. Okay. So, A major. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good. You guys can learn from each other. And what? I wonder what if. That's probably an extended. So like those those were our example. Oh yeah, F. I forgot. This is F right here. It's one of my favorite chords. Exactly. That's everyone's favorite chord. Now, now to to people who do this basic stuff, like I just I just want to show my. I'm not a guitar teacher. I'm just a player in the band and the writer composer but there's gonna be fans out there that, that's gonna want to learn from me and, and other crap and and like whichever but yeah we'll, we'll definitely educate them on what we know of and course. everything and um um, like what, yeah. what we know like like we're not berkeley professors right. like like you know we got to make billboard hits and they want to know how to play that song so we're gonna change the game so i'm gonna yeah, jazzify yeah. these chords real quick so i'm gonna extend it i'm not I'm add knives and all that jazz so C major right here. Then I'm gonna like extend it right here. Extend that C major right here. So C is right here. This key right here. So I'm gonna extend it right here. And then I'm gonna extend it more. Go higher. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna extend it much more the same the same position. Right. Like sounds beautiful, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go right here. If I if you hear mute, is that's meant to happen? One of the strings is muted. So that's a jazz chord right here. I just did a whole damn jazz in one position. So yeah. I know people like hate jazz and they don't hate it, but it's just that it's like its own little world. But but I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it cool. I like, mean, I, who hates jazz? That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. Some I don't know. Some people comment. It was like well, I can't I can't understand jazz. I'm so like, they're not used to it. They're not that's, used that's to it. That's the thing. Well, that mean, doesn't mean they just... they won't like it. They won't appreciate it. You know? Well, it's just that they they have an idea of what jazz is in their minds, and then they're just like, well, that's not what I like. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is a jazz chord right here, and this is a jazz chord right right here, and this is a, this is another jazz chord here. All right, let's take the neck further out, since people like to play in this position. So I don't. I must not listen to enough jazz because, well, you know what it is. I just don't play enough guitar. Uh, that's okay. Like you, you, you don't even have to play your guitar to listen to jazz. Like you can even listen to the saxophone and yeah. like, and they do the same thing. Like, like. I'm learning the walking bassline on guitar. I'm, I'm learning it. So like, so don't mind if I sound terrible. Shoot. That's something I'm I'm learning how to do how to do a walking bass line as I'm doing the chord at the same time. No, oh, yeah, yeah. So like, so that so that's really cool. And then like um the one thing oh, this chord sounds so beautiful. Like um, this is this is angelic in my opinion. Okay, now I go a little. Sounds higher. like a question mark. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a clue, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like that shit you hear when you're playing L.A. Noir and you mm -hmm. walk past exactly. the movie, you can't find it. Exactly. <laughs> Same thing. I just sounds exactly like that. Yeah. I put the middle finger up here, 
And then I now I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna bridge it in. That sounds. I don't know. What do you guys think? How that sound? That just sounded. I mean, it sounds like it sounds like a. I mean, again, it sounds like a question mark to me. At least. <laughs> like something that you would be curious about. Like, hmm, I wonder. It makes it. It, it just makes me wonder when when I hear tunes like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. things that I've been trying to one of the things I'm trying to get into like recently with my with my uh, with my group which we don't have a name uh, the first name I thought of was taken so whatever um, there's other ones that we can probably come up with but the thing about making bands is that the, it's just gonna get only harder you don't want to be that guy who just names the band after himself especially if you got like a name that's not cool you know what I mean so um, uh, one of the things we wanted to get into is like you know the way that like, there's a kind of energy that's like into um, sort of that those old timey like sort of mariachi esque uh, bands. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the genre, but like it, there's there's a type of emotion that's associated with it. Like um, there's this guy named Jose Gonzalez uh, who plays this song that was in Red Dead Redemption, the first one called uh, "Far Away," that I really love and. It's like it's it's if you ever look it up, it's that sort of kind of music where it's like very, it's just like full of so much emotion. You know what I mean? Like uh, one thing I noticed is that like in that sort of region of the world, those are the people who live there, especially in Mexico, like they have a particular type of way of imprinting emotion into music that's just like not really you can't really find anywhere else. I think. So um, I love. I've been trying to like sort of match that style like lyrically. And uh, it's usually, I mean, I guess not to be like sort of de biased in terms of demographic, but it's usually focused around like, you know, like, uh, like farms, like, you know, it's just like the kind of, like, you know how in the South we have like, you know, like uh, Dixie-esque music, it's the sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Which I'm doing now, I'm, I'm, do I'm doing some Dixie bluegrass bullshit. We're going to also be doing going. country too. We're going to be oh, doing yeah. country but like to, well. to, the, to basically, the, like, it's the Mexicans, like, it's, the, it's their kind of country, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's very, it's so powerful, you know what I mean? Like, the thing, the thing is, you gotta understand about music that a lot of it's about poverty, you know? Yep. It is. 90% 90, 90 of it is about poverty, 90% of it is about hardship. There's no, no, there's no... I and mean, love, I really too. Know, I don't really know any good music that's, that comes from wealth, you know what I mean? Never. No, never, you're right, yeah. Well, it's classical music, but like, even the classical musicians, that they're all poor, and they, and they got the conversation on the spot. But yeah, the, the classical musicians, they, like, if you think of the, 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 so, the, the classic Soviet musicians, they came from a country that was, the reason why they're so beloved, you know what I mean? Like, if you ever listen to the Soviet national anthem, it's one of, like, the most beloved, like, uh, pieces of classical music ever made. Um... And a lot of the uh, old Soviet composers, like, I mean, the Soviet Union was not, like, you know, a... It wasn't a paradise place to live, but, you know, Stalin's five-year plan was extremely difficult and alienated a lot of people and even then caused a lot of death. And, I mean, a lot of those people were victims of that regime. So, you know, even the classical musicians having to live and exist, especially when World War II came around. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of, well, music does, it just comes straight from a hardship. It comes straight from, like, difficulty. It comes straight from... That's what makes it real. That's what makes music yeah, real yeah, for a lot of people. So and that's why people, a lot of people love music. And, and they feel... Because especially when, they, when you write songs like that, it makes you feel connected. Because it it's something that you could relate to. Universally, it's, it's, it's something that music is, 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 is an aspect that people can, can, can heavily relate to. And that's why... That's why people love it. Exactly. But I mean, there's like there's there's two different there's two different emotions that you want to invoke when you're, exactly. when you're trying to make music. And from those two, it, it branches off into whatever. But it really, is, it's two. It's it's mainly two. Right. Like different emotions that um, extrapolate. Like you can extrapolate into like different melodies and whatnot. And it's just sadness and you know elation. You know a lot I mean? of it is sadness, yeah. Uh, and and of course sadness really is just the lack of happiness. It's not really a different emotion. It's mm -hmm. just the lack of. And um, you know that's where that's where the sort of feeling of melodrama comes from when you're creating music. Right. And it's very. 
when you're trying to, it's, it's, you're either really tapping into those two emotions, whether you're making music, it's some, maybe you can maybe make it somewhere in between, you can sort of like, in the sense of, um, R.E.M. a lot of their happy tunes are masking like a deep, a deeper sort of, uh, melancholy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I mean, classic example, that song Melancholy Hill from The Gorillas. Like, that's a really good song that uses a melancholy, a melancholy tune to sort of, like, uh, maybe mask. Or it uses sort of lyrics and uh, a tune that seems somewhat poppy mm-hmm. to, to mask something that's generally a little bit more sad. Definitely, yeah. But, I agree. Uh, it's ve- it is very, it's very important when you're creating lyrics alongside any sort of form of music to um, try to... No, keep going. Uh, try to mask... No, you, you gotta you gotta sort of mask your intentions with the rhythm, you know what I mean? It's not, like I said before, it's not enough to just say what it is that you want to say. You have to, um... You have to use some degree of prose, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what I always try to do. I mean, that's not really what I tried to do when I wrote his lyrics, honestly. I try to get to the point because well, a lot of pop gets to the point, you know what I mean? A lot of pop gets to the point. It does. Uh, and that's what makes it popular because then you don't have to really think too hard about it. It's really accessible. It's really easy. And, you know, like... And it's straightforward. Yeah, like, that's that's why you have all the TikToks that have that pop on it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, all, all the TikToks, like, mainly market pop. And, like, that's where you can get really big if you're a pop musician, like, on TikTok. Because, for one thing, you have a, a really accessible platform like TikTok. And if you make a tune that's catchy that people can, like, easily relate to, you know what I mean? Then people just, like, format it literally over everything, you know what I mean? Like that song, Oh No, Oh Yeah. I hate that song, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, like, it's obvious, like, what you can put that towards, you know what I mean? And that's why there's so many memes of it, you know what I mean? You can make, like, pop music is just memeable music, really. And that's the trend nowadays, too. It's it's, it's kind of, like, more current now. That's why it's, it's so hot. That's why it's so pop, popular right yeah, now. Yeah, like, Kanye West makes a killing off of really just being really simple, you know what I mean? But, like, I mean, I'm not going to knock what he does because there are actually, even though I don't really listen to pop, there are a lot, a lot of songs that he that he uh, that he's made that sound really good. That sound really good. Mm-hmm. But, um... That's true. Yeah, but, um... I mean, it's not, it's not really... I'm not saying that I could do that, but it's, he's filling, he's, he's filling a demographic so well that it's like, he's basically like the king of it almost, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, Michael Jackson, they say he's the king of pop, and it's rightfully so, you know what I mean? Like, he's, like, his music, like, you know, like, um, what's that one song? Like, Beat It? It's like, you know, I mean, I, everybody knows that song, Beat It. I personally like the Earth song. Go ahead. The Earth song? I personally like that one. No, I'm not saying that it's not good, but I'm saying like you'll beat it. Everybody's heard and everybody loves it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. It's it's such a real, it's a really accessible song. It's yep. really. It's very catchy and everything too. We want something that we want. We want, we, we need to produce something that's very catchy to to the and audience. Accessible to everybody. Yeah. You, you, even though like. Something that could actually like people that could have people that could actually the, we need a melody that can actually resonate in people's minds. But it's like you want like a brain worm. Yeah. Basically, I want a brain worm, and that's fine. You know how people always say like, "Oh, this, this song has always been in my head for like the past, for, like the past um few hours." That's that's the effect that I want us to have. Of course. As as cooking beats for yeah. for, for our for our fans. Our, our music needs to be accessible to, to everybody, not just one demographic, not just one type of people. It needs to be accessible. To how everyone. you turn on? Um, it should be it should be turning on now. You should see the blue thing on on the on the 